destroying Pharaoh and his army in the Red Sea, and, and God by his right strong right hand opened a way in the wilderness and brought us to the promised land. And um, the, the, the blowing of a trumpet to, to the tearing down of the walls of Jericho. They, they had their sermons that told the stories of the greatness and the deliverance and the power of their God. Mm. So they were grown up in such a way that they were very familiar with the scriptures. And they, they had this formal process of moving children from childhood into adolescence with a, 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 an elaborate ceremony. In preparation for that, the children were, were required to study the Torah, to know it, to be able to recite it by heart, so that when they get to 13, the boys have the bar mitzvah ceremony, and the girls have a bat mitzvah ceremony. Yeah? And then they, they recite the scriptures and they recognize them now as no longer children, but essentially adults. And then they would have had this process of mentoring and reciting them, continuing in the traditions of the, the law and so on. Something that our society can certainly get to that. So the writers of the New Testament would have had that intense familiarity with the Old Testament scriptures. So we must read what we now have, not as two sections, but as one. Hmm and see how they depend on each other, how they connect with each other. And essentially, they are telling his story. Whose story? The his story, story of Jesus and our Lord. Yeah. Starting from Genesis, chapter 3, verse 15, where there is a first mention of the Christ and his work, where God is punishing the serpent. And he says, I will put, you will crawl out of them, and you will eat the dirt, and I will put enmity between your seed and the seed of the woman. You shall bruise his heel, and he shall crush your head. Who is the seed of the woman? Jesus. Paul picks up on this in Galatians, and he says, uh, when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son into the world, born of a woman, born under law, to redeem us from the curse of God. You see how Paul is reflecting on the Old Testament text of Genesis. Because Jesus is the seed of the woman. He, his heel is bruised because he suffers physically at the crucifixion. But he crushes the head of the serpent because in his death and resurrection he utterly destroys, vanquishes the power of powers of death, hell, and the grave. It starts the story of Jesus starts there in Genesis 15 and it continues all the way across the Bible until we get to the very end in Revelation, the revelation of the second coming. So, as we go through the Old Testament survey, looking at the Old Testament, one of the things that we do um, is to look at tracing Christ through the pages of the Old Testament. I just gave you the first one. So, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of pick up on that next time. Um, unfortunately, we have to wrap up um, in terms of the, the lecture and uh, and, and we, we, we're going to be heading across to Emmanuel. But what we will do, one of the things we will do is to look at Jesus through the Old Testament. I remember when I was a child, um, I always used to think that Jesus, Jesus only began in Matthew. Matthew, Matthew chapter 1, where he's talking about the, the descendants of Jesus 
and this one we got that 